Let's go have a look at the toolbox. So you get your fridge slide in and another spring latch. Pull that out, lock that in, and then pull it out. Now plonk your fridge on there, we've got straps to keep this, the fridge stabilised inside. And then the time you're pushing it in. Very straightforward. We've got marine carpet installed in here to help with the noise and the dust. And you get your other utility tools here. Half the shelf gets all the way through to the other side, and a little lip over here as well. And that's just to stop the containers from coming out. And when you're closing up, make sure all the doors are clipped into place and locked in with a spring latch. Although sometimes it can actually jam on the actual latches here. So when you're closing it up, and there you have it. Let's go have a look at the other side. Okay, now we're on the other side of the toolbox. Let's have a look. Got the latches. Always grab the doors with your hands in case you get wind catching on. You don't want the door just pulling out and taking out the actual gas truck there. And we've got a bulk storage area in here for a large item. That part of the shelf continues on this side. And also the large utility drawer. We've got lots of storage inside. And again, making sure when you're closing it, it locks in all the way. Close that over now. 10 pole storage. This cavity storage is for your annex poles and your spreader bars. This little storage here, you can actually access from inside the camper under the seat. Um, so I like to actually put just board games for my kids. They can access it from the outside when the camper's closed and also access it from the inside. Got your water tank storage. So you got your 65 litre at the front and 100 litre at the rear. This button here turns on the tap at the front, which we'll have a look at later on as well. Now to fill up the water tank, just grab your key out, turn it in, pull it out, and I just normally run the hose in it. Nice low pressure, slow to medium pressure. Otherwise, it just all spits back out at you. You've got your battery compartment here. You've got your dual batteries, they're pre wired for you. And your main isolator switch here. So that's the isolator switch that's currently on. Push it in and turn it 90 degrees. That's now on. And you've got your fuses down here. So when you're traveling along, if you need your fridge on, then you actually need to isolate a switch on at all times. Uh, and when you brought the camper home, that's now off. The front water tank is switched on by the pump on the side. And to turn it actually on, you just pull the lever down, the pump coming on, the water will come out. Now that's off now. Handbrake, always use the handbrake if the camper trailer is stowed away, or if you're at camp. Never drive with it on, otherwise you actually wear it the hand. You got the Anderson connection there. That's a 50 amp Anderson connection. Now you can also charge your camp trailer through the solar panels, through a 240 volt charge if you put an Anderson connection onto it. Just plug it straight in and charge it up. Now you can charge it when the isolator switches off. Get your normal trailer plug that's round or flat. We do that for you guys. Uh, the front windshield helps open up the camp trailer and close it. You get your two 9 kilo gas bottle holders here. Two jerry can holders, and this is the gas funnel. So, the one regulator line, plug it into your gas bottle, and you've got gas for the stove. A hot tip with the jockey wheel is always have the jockey wheel as low as you can when you're moving it around. Then use your thighs to push the actual can control. Then you see how it's really easy to work with your legs there. Now, when you have the jockey wheel, the higher the jockey wheel, the more strain you have on the jockey wheel, and that's when you can actually damage the jockey wheel. Now, you can check out the stabilizer there. To stabilise your legs, you can out, and it will come down. Use the button stabilizer and just touch up. Always good to put all four stabilising legs down for the camper to stabilise it, especially when the camper trailer is open.